We finally got it working. Let's first watch it do its thing. And sorry for the creaking noise. That's my chair. I should have changed it, but I'm sentimental. I designed and printed the control box that ties the whole machine together. The mount is the lid. It has rails and screw holes, and it bolts under the pick-and-place work surface into the T-slot. Once the lid is fixed there, the box body slides into the lid's groove like a drawer and locks in place. So the whole thing lives under the frame, takes basically no extra space, and it's rock solid. Inside the box, there's a spot for the SKR mainboard. A shaped pocket for the pump with anchors for zip ties so it doesn't vibrate around a mount for the solenoid valve that's easy to service and a big open pass through so i can route cables without unplugging them from the board i also left a cutout for a panel power inlet it isn't wired yet but it's in the plan for the next revision I did some quick adjustments after the first print because I didn't think about every tiny clearance. But this version works great and the next one will be perfect. Now let's talk a little about the path. I can't explain everything in this video, but here's the main stuff. I first tried OpenPMP inside Ubuntu on WSL, and the cameras fought me, so I moved OpenPMP to Windows where the USB cams are native, kept Clipper plus mainsail in WSL, and uh, bridged them over 127.0001 colon 5000 to slash TMP slash printer. Once that link was solid, I query positions with M114 using a regex for XYZ, and I send rotation on its own G, 1E, line, so uh, Clipper doesn't trip the maximum extrusion watchdog. After homing, I keep a sensible safe Z for travel so moves go up, across, and down cleanly. I'm working on the Git repo and documentation. I'll also make the open PMP machine XML settings and the printer config available. In the meantime, if you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. About the lights, I've got a full video. Watch that if you want the deep dive. Quick version. For the old RGB rink, I briefly borrowed 5 volts from my PC with an extra modular Molex lead. Molex gives 5 volts and 12 volts. I only used 5 volts, so I could plug, unplug while, while testing. Um, for this build, we don't need that anymore. The new 24V ring runs straight from the SKR mini fan header with PWM, so no extra USB and no PC power tap.
For vacuum and air, I kept it simple. I wired the solenoid valve and the air pump straight to the SKR mini motherboard. Using the bed heater and hot end heater terminals, just screwed the wires in and made on-off macros in printer.cfg so I can hit pump on slash pump off, vacuum on slash vacuum off from mainsail and from open PMP. The air path is head, solenoid, pump, and I use short pieces of heat shrink as little sleeves couplers so the tubes slide off easily for service. Make sure your pump, valve, match the board voltage and stay within the MOSFET current. If not, use an external MOSFET and a flyback diode, but this setup works great for me. I'll let you watch one more time. The PMP picks those tiny ceramic capacitors from the tape and places them on my Bitex board. I'll do a full Bitex board population in a future video, but right now I've got a new project I'm really excited about for the next videos, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments. See you in the next video.